I had a request to follow up my last Dunaway video. I wanted to see cyber vision. So here's the modeling. Let's do the down the line view. So that right knee is a big deal. So once you wind up, Kicks the right knee in. It's loading up that right hip with the pelvis tilt and then you slide forward and fire that whole right side at the ball. Throw underhanded his right. Just throw as hard as you can. Twirl that club as long as you can and he's swinging up. After he saw Austin, he gained like 25 yards. It's already 350s, 355 longer here in these videos. And Austin got him to change up to try and be just a little more accurate, but Dunaway was already pretty accurate with the driver. And I'm not so sure it wasn't just the development of the Big Bertha Club. If you watch closely, if you put a face on, you can see that... Um, uh, you'll be able to see that figure seven, you know, very easily. And this view, let's raise them up a little. Watch the collarbone and the, you know, the shoulder girdle and watch. There you go. There's the seven. See how that arm is moving It's a guide. You know, it doesn't pull away from the body just stays in place and it all happens automatically you know if you take a grip a certain way and it's a prayer grip it's all automatic the forms will meet the ball i'll show that in a minute that it's it's a very automatic move and you're just throwing the club so one more time and then we'll end this video This way from down the line is always a good view, too. Okay, there's more modeling for you Austin fans. Just very quickly, I'll demo that prayer grip. So the club actually sits flat like this. The prayer comes up behind you like that because your dorsal flex is squaring up, see? So, just hold it like that. And the reason it's so good is because when you do the figure seven and you're turning, so you're pinned under here, turn like this, all you have to do is straighten your arm and see how it squares? Square. Not doing anything except straightening an arm. Same way you throw anything, throw. So that's why it's so fast. So blur is going by there, but this hand is stopping here. When you make the turn, it slows down, your body slows down, and then this will twirl around your wrist. So that's where that little speed's coming from, the pendulum they always talk about. So it just flips over. That's all it is. It's the same thing as if you were to throw. So the one tricky part is your hips go this way and this way. You know, there. You know, your head is going this one. Your head is going this way. Stay still. Your pelvis is going at 10 to 4. So because you're back here and you turn, it's a bit of a illusion when you start to move your hips back towards 10 and your right knee comes up, it's a turn of the pelvis automatic. And this brings you down to the delivery position we want, which is here. 
three here, and then you do the the straighten the right arm. And then it twirls around your wrist. Every club has a balance point. This one is here. If I were to put bright tape on it, you could see that that was gonna turn around that point if I threw it. It's gonna go around here, end over end. So you're really just throwing that point around here. Just, you know, just sort of crack out. Throwing something. It's all the same. So it's this and this to get ready to throw out with your right side. And the way I always describe it is, you know, your your right knee lifts up. You know, the way I showed you, your, your knee out raises your elbow, gets to the ball just a little before the, the elbow of the right hand. And you extend, they all kind of meet together, the hip, the elbow, and this knee is kicking this way. Hope that makes some sense.